Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your blind bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on. Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance can see the Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy.
back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. You know, it's a good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. Frank, is he gonna meet you in the garage behind the bar? He'll be here soon. Yeah, sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. OK. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the Don. This is Mama Motors, yours. If you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Radio now brings you a special weather report. Releasing a deluge of rainfall on the city. If you've been out in the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you. There are reports coming in of a number of traffic accidents attributed to the downpour, with fender benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel, which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Bridge all the way into downtown. The police department is attending incidents as they can, but they've now issued advice that people should not venture out on the roads unless their journey is strictly necessary. The roads are treacherous, ladies and gentlemen, so however a good driver you may be, it's just not worth the risk to you or anyone else. It would be the best thing to do on a night like this is to stay at home with your loved ones and keep warm and dry. I know where I'd rather be on a night like this. In addition to the problems we've been hearing of on the roads, air traffic in and out of the city has been suspended by order of the Aviation Authority. All scheduled flights departing Los Angeles have been cancelled. Danger is driving on Central Island. Have been cancelled. Officers have seen him. Known for shooting. Danger is driving on Central Island. As bad as that may sound, the latest report from the okay, weather has been states okay, that although the rain is heavy at this moment and that all warnings should be heeded, the storm isn't expected to last all that long. Certainly, it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm over us in quite a rate. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the island. Let me reiterate that the Lost Heaven Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. 
And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family, friends, or loved ones and waiting out this dreadful storm and the war. Roadblock of the in this position can confirm. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. A public service radio station for the people of Lost Heaven. This is WLH 570. Oh. This is a of boost or a pick me up. Then there should be only one name on your lips. Swift Cola. The energy kit that's a taste sensation. Officers on Central Island. Suspect has been lost. Keep patrolling. <coughs> Stay on it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 